Hi guys, this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Please keep in mind that all my readings are general readings. They will not resonate with everyone. They are not gender specific and they can resonate in reverse. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, if you're interested in getting a, a free three question reading, please hashtag in the comments, hashtag Quartz Rose Tarot giveaway. And if you're a winner, we will notify you. Also, our new schedule, Monday is the water signs. We release those videos on Monday. Tuesday is the fire signs. Wednesday is the earth signs. And Thursday is the air signs. We are also doing a weekend vibe video every Friday. So please keep your eye out for that. Some big news. We are coming up on our one year anniversary on YouTube and I'm really excited about that. My goal was 30,000 subscribers and we are just about there. So please, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified when new video content comes out. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, all the information's in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let's see where this goes. Welcome Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for September 8th through the 15th. Sagittarius, I'm going to get your energy, and then I'm going to get the energy of all 12 signs. Then I'm going to get your oracle cards, and then we will get your spread going and clarify that. So with that, here we go. Let's get into this and see where it goes. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What is the energy for Sagittarius? The week of the 8th through the 15th of September, please. What is the energy for Sagittarius? You got a, a page of cups. This could be a child. This could be um, a message, an emotional message. So let's see. Let's see where this goes. You're dealing with an Aries. Somebody's coming in very grounded, solid, stable, dependable. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's wanting to move forward past the drama or move on. If you're dealing with a Gemini, somebody's wanting to heal something. If you're dealing with a cancer um you want to take that leap of faith or move forward could be moving if you're dealing with a leo someone's coming in to offer that cup or ask you out on a date um if you're dealing with a virgo somebody's waiting or yearning for you if you're dealing with a libra they want justice if you're dealing with a scorpio there's a tower moment if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody's being a player. So another Sagittarius might be cheating. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, there's new love here. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody is being kind of cold, um, but I'm getting cold energy. But I'm also getting um, they're not showing you their hand. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody wants to work on something. So, Sagittarius, why are you the Page of Cups? Why are you the Page of Cups? Ooh, you're very, immature, Im, very immature energy this week, Sagittarius. You got, you got two kids here. It could be two children. Okay, your energy is maybe about two children. Um, but this is maybe an emotional message of an apology or an apology. So you may be apologizing to somebody. This is your energy. Um, so immature energy though, there's an offer of an apology or an offer of an emotional message. These are both a mes messages, messengers. So this is about communication, something about stabilities and emotion. Okay. Why is the, uh, why is Aries the queen of coin? Something that's being hidden. So maybe an ex is hiding something from you. This is, could be an ex-wife representing an ex-wife or an ex. Uh, so an ex possibly could be hiding something. There could be a secret. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's wanting to move past the drama for a victory. If you're dealing with a Gemini, um, they want to heal some kind of deception. And if you're dealing with a cancer, somebody's wanting to take a leap of faith and balance something out. 
you're dealing with a Leo taking control. The emperor's in the house. He's trying to, oh, you want to date an emperor. Here's a, a date with the emperor. That's kind of cool. Um, if you're dealing with, if you're dealing with um, a Virgo, somebody could be waiting and daydreaming, yearning and daydreaming for you. If you're dealing with a Libra, being divinely guided into justice. So karmic justice, possibly. Some karmic justice here. There's Scorpio, Queen of, of Cups. There's a tower moment. What's the tower moment with the Queen of Cups? Burden. Some kind of a burden with this, this, uh, this Scorpio uh, causes a tower moment. You're dealing with another Sag. Somebody's being a player and somebody's gaining some, going within, doing some soul searching about quick, passionate movements or being there for a good time, not a long time. Someone's getting some clarity about it. Someone's making a decision about love if you're if you're dealing with a Capricorn. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody's manifesting truth. Um, manifesting truth. They're not showing you. They're being strategic, so they may be doing magic. Being strategic about magic. Somebody's being, yeah, somebody's wanting to win. This is somebody that's ready to fight with magic. So watch your back if you're dealing with an Aquarius. And somebody's making a decision about work when it comes to the Pisces. So let's get into your Oracle cards and see what comes up for you. But keep in mind, Sagittarius, you're coming in as the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So an emotional message or an apology, possibly. That's your energy. That's your energy this week. Kind of immature energy, child. It, it also could be about two children. So, let's get some oracle cards for you. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know, please? Okay, you got Cracker. Okay, positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and uh, and good fortune awaits. Okay, but you've got uh, the devil here. Um, take take care to immediately avoid temptation and deceit. So be careful. Be careful. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know in this situation, please? What does Sagittarius need to know in this situation, please? Blessings under the bottom of the deck. Trust. Trust in your blessings. Trust them. Trust your blessings. You do have deception there, so. But trust the blessings. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, give me clarity and guidance for Sagittarius, please. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Under the bottom of the deck. True love you this this is this love is once in a lifetime so wow Sagittarius you got a new soulmate love coming towards you um but be careful about deception holy spirit angel spirits and guides give me clarity and guidance what does Sagittarius need to know what does Sagittarius need to know you got show the world who you really are under the bottom of the deck. Conclusions are within reach. Okay. There you go. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Sagittarius need to know?
you got status quo okay you don't want to ever settle for the status quo you know you just want to you want to have more than just settling okay um and get out of that victim mentality of settling for the status quo you do not want to deal with that holy spirit angel spirits and guides listen clarity and guidance you know just because something's easy doesn't mean it's the one right decision to make okay you you know what i'm saying you know uh sometimes the best choice is not the easy one i don't know why but that needed to be said so take it how it resonates with you but that was a specific message financial constraints and uh the thinking woman i'm getting the con victim mentality the consciousness of lack here okay that's what i'm getting um but you have true love coming under the bottom of the deck too you have a caring connection okay so it's going to be good you just have to not don't block your blessings and stay avoid temptation avoid temptation Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Sagittarius need to know? Past life soulmate. Under the bottom of the deck, romantic feelings. Okay? So you have a past life soulmate coming towards you. You have true love. Past life soulmate. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? Heartbroken. Okay, a deep, deep hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Under the bottom of the deck, you got runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. That's what this is about, that temptation. Don't be tempted by that. Do not be tempted by that. I do see that you have something great coming towards you, but just don't let it be. Don't be tempted. You need to trust your blessings and you do have, you, you know, do something for someone. Um, you have true love coming towards you. Uh, conclusions are within reach, and, but show the world who you are. So maybe you're holding back from who you really are. Um, you're settling for the status quo. Okay. You have the victim mentality. Let that go. You know, there may be con const uh, financial constraints, but you're thinking it through. You're trying to think it through. You do have a past life soulmate coming towards you with romantic feelings, but there's a heartbreak that you're dealing with, and uh, somebody was a runner, possibly. You may be getting, going through a breakup right now. So let's get into your read, Sag, and see what is coming up. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, give me some clarity and guidance for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know, please? Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so you're making a head over heart decision. There's something that's hidden. It could be about a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, you have uh, Libra energy with the Two of Swords. Something that's hidden, you're making a decision to cut something out, causes a tower moment. And this is about working in manifesting some courage. The person you're dealing with, there's something that's hidden, illusions, confusion, and I hate when it comes out next to this card, okay? Yes, this is a fire sign. This is, uh, this could be your energy, but you know, this is the other person, the other person's energy. It could be yours or the other person's, however it resonates with you. But if this isn't you, Sagittarius, um, there's somebody that's hiding, they're doing, you know, this is 
you know, the sorcerer of the deck. Okay. She is the sorcerer, the sorceress of the deck. Now she's sitting next to the moon card. That would be, you know, um, illusions, hidden, hidden illusions with this queen of wands energy and, um, king of pentacles energy. Happiness, wish fulfillment. This could be a husband. Um, somebody's waiting for a family situation wish fulfillment this king there's there's something there's some kind of an illusion or a secret here with this queen of wands but this person's waiting for a family situation he's trying to make a decision to cut out this queen of cups whoever this queen of cups is so holy spirit angel spirits and guides give me some clarity and guidance what is the obstacle here communication about love okay someone needs to communicate love do something for somebody else is what that that card said so your obstacle is or your outcome it, you're going to have a relationship with somebody from your past okay so why is the two of swords here somebody's making a decision to cut something out and heal something queen of cups somebody was being a player with this queen of cups who was there for a good time not a long time um that could be Sagittarius energy. This could be your energy, Sag. You were there for a good time, not a long time, uh, with this Queen of Cups. Um, this could be the third party energy, but um, you know, you're hoping to heal something that you're you're making a decision to heal something. Passion, communic yeah, there's a lot of passion between you and the Queen of Cups. The tower, you are taking some time to figure something out about a third party situation. Um, you're working on taking control, standing your ground. This, you also could be the boss. The emperor could be the boss here. Okay. Working. Uh, why is the emperor here working, taking that leap of faith, taking control, taking the control back. See, I, I see, you know, I, I, I have that ability to feel the negative energy and negative magic, magic, magic. Okay. Deceptive magic. Okay. You have somebody doing magic on you and I'm getting it from this person. If, if that's you, it could be, but I'm not getting that as your energy, Sag. This could be the other woman. Okay. Looking, you need courage to look, look to the past. You're looking at the past. You're needing courage to make a decision about a relationship. Why is the, why is the Knight of Wands, what's going on with the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups? You're heartbroken because there was a choice between two. Okay. Okay, over here we have, why is the, what's hidden? What's hidden? What's the secret? Somebody's juggling. Well, that's no secret. Justice. What are they juggling justice? What's hiding? They're juggling justice. There's something that's hidden that has to do with the court system here. They're hiding something about the courts and juggling this justice or making a decision about justice. But they're hiding it, making a decision. Could be a divorce. If this is your energy over here, no, no. what I say? When I say sorceress energy, my freaking spidey spot, you know, my spidey sense is kicking in here. Okay. She's the sorceress. She's the high priestess, high priestess and sorcery. This is the keeper of the secret. This is somebody who uses, uses her intuition, doesn't speak. That's what that's about. Somebody's doing spell work on you. And there's, they're making this decision about some kind of justice. What's the justice here? Uh, an apology. They're hiding something. And there's an illusion of juggling justice to apologize. So they're faking it. They're faking it. So she's acting like she's apologizing, but she's really not. She's got other, she's got ulterior motives. This person's got ulterior motives with you. You remember you have new love coming towards you. So, um, or even, it even could be old love. It could be, you know, it's a past life soulmate. It's a strong connection. 
King of okay, so there's a passionate message to move forward. Okay, you're really you're trying to move on. You're trying to move on, um, Sag. This is your King of uh, King of Pentacles energy. Um, your wish fulfillment is a victory here. Okay, you are waiting and yearning to move on, and uh, you know there's a family situation that's going to end, so something new can begin. A karmic cycle. You're going to be communicating about love. See your perfect counterpart. Okay past life soulmate perfect counterpart you're going to be communicating with somebody from your past this could be an ex you may be going back to an, an ex after all of this drama so there are three women in this scenario three feminine energies take it how it resonates with you it could be three male energies but there are three feminine energies in this the queen of cups is one person the sorceress is the other person and this queen of coin is yet another person so this person's broken hearted because there was a third party so that person may have just left the left the building okay um, this person is trying to fake that apology um, but you're moving on okay they could be doing magic and and you know making a decision about some relationship but you're communicating love too i'm getting an ex could be an ex-wife could be an ex um, and you're going to be in a relationship with somebody from your past Ooh, this is where that gets good. Okay. So this is a relationship, a contract with somebody from the past. So a past life soulmate, like it said. Okay. So this may be overcoming obstacles. Um, this, the king of wands here, you are Sagittarius taking control. You could be blocking, standing your ground for this, fighting for this relationship. You're being divinely guided, but you feel stuck and bound to something. You're in your head about some third party that needs to balance. That's what this is about, that love spells or whatever they're doing. You're stuck in your head. You feel stuck and bound in your head to a third party and you need it to balance. But you're trying to fight for this other relationship, see, because you're trying to balance out whatever strife, jealousy, and competition is there. You want to reconcile with your empress. That's the bottom line. You want to reconcile with your empress. So this is your empress. This would be the minor arcana of the empress. This is the single version of the empress. Okay, so reconciling with your empress. So Sagittarius, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful week.